If you don't do this before adding 808s, your beats will sound muddy, your 808s won't hit as hard, and you won't have full control of your 808s. Bad times. The good news is this is really easy to set up. And if you use my beat mixing template, it's already set up for you. You pretty much don't have to do anything else. That will also make your kick dip every time your 808 hits, making your 808s hit even harder. Link down below if you want to grab that. But before we clap our hands to switch places with our best friend, I've got a question for you. That question is, what are the only two 808 samples you'll ever need? Leave your answers down below. If you don't know, don't worry because I'll be revealing the answer later on in this video. Just stay tuned. Before we get into it, this video was requested by David H. Shout out to you. If you want to get a shout out in my next video, it's super easy. All you need to do is leave a question or video suggestion down below. You'll get a video answering your question and some free promo win-win for you now let's get into it so this video is going to show you how to set up your 808s correctly in fl studio the first thing you need to do is make sure that your 808 is tuned to c5 now if you've downloaded your sample pack your drum kit from a reputable source this will already be done if you don't know how to do this let me quickly show you how you can check what key or note your 808 is tuned to first of all will open up the audio editor for our 808. So this is our 808, let's quickly play this, and this is tuned to C5. But if we didn't know that, what we do is we'd right click, we'd go to edit in audio editor, and this will bring up Edison. Once Edison is up, the next thing we wanna do is select the entire wave format, right click, go to regions, go to detect pitch regions. Now this will show us the pitch of the note. As you can see, it's mostly C2. It says B1 and then goes into C2, but as you can see, the majority of this hit is in C2, so it's tuned to C2. I think I said C5 earlier, that really isn't correct. Sorry, my mistake. It just needs to be tuned to C. Because this is a bass instrument, it will usually be lower than C5. But since it's tuned to C2, when you hit C5, it will be playing C2. I hope that makes sense. But that really doesn't matter. As long as it's tuned to C and you see C here and that's the majority of the note, you're all good. If that isn't the case, then you need to learn how to transpose audio. I've got a video on that. Check out that video on how to transpose audio and that will show you how to change this into C. The next thing you need to do is you need to open up the audio editor as I showed you and you need to come over here to the envelope and instrument settings. Over here, you need to make your envelope look like this. Now I'm gonna drag in a new 808 sample so you can see how that's done. But if you're using my beat mixing template, this will already be done for you. Let me quickly show you that. So if we bring in this Tarantino 808 and we bring it in to this same space, as you can see, everything's all the same. It's all perfectly done. Now let's bring that into a new channel. And this is what you'll get if you're not using my template and you're starting from scratch. So let me just route this to the same mixer on my template. Let's bring this up. First of all, the first thing we're gonna do is normalize this. But as you can see, when we hit the sustain is lasting for longer than we're pressing the note. We definitely do not want that. Next thing we want to do is go to envelope. Then we want to bring the attack down, drag the hold out like this. So it starts it started around here. We want to move that all the way up, get rid of the decay, and move the sustain all the way up. So that was the decay we was hearing before which happens if you hit the note, how long that note will keep on playing after it's hit, that's the decay. The sustain is how long you hold the note, how long the note will keep on playing. Now this is limited, it can't go on forever. You can also bring this attack down, but I don't think that really changes anything. And we also want the release to be all the way down as well. So this is your setup. Hold all the way up, sustain all the way up, everything else all the way down. The thing is, some notes will be able to last longer than others. The lower notes will last longer than your higher notes because you just have less to sustain on those higher notes. And that's the way it works. However, if you wanna learn how to make a full beat from scratch, you can use my easy nine step trap beat making formula. All you need to do is click on the link in the description down below or go to jcarterray.com forward slash free trap course. This course will take you from 
creating your melody all the way up to mastering your beat and it's absolutely free you've got nothing to lose except the opportunity to join this course while it's still free and available it won't be free and available forever so join it right now link down below i'm a man of my word so it's time to answer that question from earlier that question was what are the only two 808 samples you'll ever need? The answer is the Spins 808 and the Zay 808. Watch my video on the two 808s used in most popular songs to learn when and how to use these two different 808s. That video will show you how to do that most effectively and why you don't need any other 808 samples. The secret is most samples are just these two 808 samples with different effects on. Keep that in mind. If you've got any questions or any other videos you want me to make, please let me know in the comment section down below. Check out that video next and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.